Humans have a unique position in the created order. After God made all the wonders of heaven and earth, the stars, plants, and animals, he then did something very special. He made man in his image. That separates us from the rest of creation. But what does it mean? Biologists look at our outward appearance and classify us with mammals. But there's much more to us than bones and hair. The Bible says God is a spirit, so the image of God must not refer to physical appearance. Compared to animals, it's obvious that we have been endowed with a unique combination of non-physical traits, including language, logic, creativity, and a desire for justice, mercy, and truth. Animals may exhibit a quality like creativity in some small measure, but not in the same way and excellence as man. For example, some animals use simple tools, but we make complex tools that produce other tools. Birds build nests and spiders weave webs, repeating their designs over and over. But we create completely new designs. Yet, it's important to note that the Bible never equates the image of God with any single ability like intelligence or any combination of abilities like creativity, love, and wisdom. Each one of us is God's image because God said so. No matter how smart or talented we are, no matter our health, skin shade, age, or gender. In fact, the Bible seems to emphasize that the image of God is a status that God himself bestowed on us. The Hebrew word translated image is sechlem, the exact same word used for images that ancient kings made to represent themselves throughout their kingdom. It seems that the creator of heaven and earth gave man the distinct honor and responsibility to be his image, showing God's love on earth.